So, during teaching of uh, special theory of relativity, I got a very interesting question, it is a very common question actually that we talk of time dilation in one frame clocks of the other frames are uh, slow. So, we say moving clocks run slow. Now, the thing is that uh, if S frame clocks and S prime frame clocks are compared uh, at the same time, then uh, on one of the clocks the reading will be less, on the other will be more. So, how can each of them say that uh, the other clock is slow? So, that is the question which is formulated in many different ways by different students and asked. So, why is he saying that my clock runs slow when I know that it is not my clock, it is his clock that is running slow that can be one formulation. So, let me make a concrete situation and see why it is so that uh, one is saying that clock of the second is slow and the second at the same time using the same clocks which are compared side by side say that uh, no, 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 my clock is okay, your clock is, is slow. So, let us uh, take a frame, let us say this is S frame and in this S frame some observer decides to look at the clocks which are moving with respect to itself. So, let us say that uh, another frame is uh, S prime frame and this is moving in the positive x direction with a velocity v, you can take v is equal to 0 0.6 c. So, that that factor 1 minus v square by c square square root is 0 0.8. And in this clock, let us say uh, there is an there is a clock in this frame, there is a clock at the origin. This clock is at the origin of s prime and this whole thing is moving. Now, as this clock comes here, origin you can always take that x and x prime are on the same line. So, when this clock reaches here that is x equal to 0, okay, so this clock I can name it a let us say. So, when uh, the clock reaches here then s immediately notes the time what is there on this clock, what is there on my clock and what you will find that the clock time, clock reading is t prime equal to 0. The origins cross each other that time both the clocks are in front of each other and we say that the time read here is 0, time read there is 0. So, it is this and decides that after 20 seconds, after 20 seconds we will see what is the reading on the clock. So, after 20 seconds, so at t equal to, and so this is at t equal to 0. So, for, for s this is t equal to 0 and the clock a reads, clock reading, clock a reading is yes, t prime is equal to 0. And now, 20 seconds elapse, I am talking from s. So, in 20 seconds what happens? In 20 seconds, the distance travelled will be 20 second and multiplied by 0 0.6 c v into t. So, that will be 12 c s. Remember c is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. So, that will cancel out and final answer is in, in meters. So, this is d. So, at this distance, at this distance there is another observer and uh, with, the, with the clock, with the clock and in this clock when it is t equal to 20, at that time this observer looks what is the reading of this clock because in 20 seconds this clock reaches here. So, this is already, already 20 c s, 20 c s. At this distance, at this distance this uh, person is ready with the clock. The moment this clock a reaches here, I will see what is the reading on this clock and it happens like that the clock reaches here and then he finds that the reading is 20 second into 0 
and that is 16 seconds. So, this reads 16 seconds, this reads 20 second, here is 20 second and here is t prime is equal to 16 second. Very nice, a S observer declares that this a clock was running slow, here it was t equal to 0, t prime is equal to 0, very good, but now 20 seconds have passed, but the clock has advanced only by 16 seconds. Now, the question is or question which uh, haunts uh, lots of students is that this observer at this instant also can also look at this clock and his own clock. So, he finds that my clock is reading t prime is equal to 16 second, but his clock is reading 20 second, whereas here uh, both the clocks were this clock here, this clock here and this clock here, these clocks were reading the same time. So, how can S prime observer say that the clocks of S are running slow when it finds that when my clock reads 20, 16 seconds, S clocks read 20 seconds. How can he say that this clock is running slow? That is the main question. And the answer is that here you have a clock, here you have a clock this clock had measured the time when this s prime was here and that was t equal to 0, t prime is equal to 0 and this clock has measured the time of this same clock, this s prime clock which is moving, this clock is moving 16 second and 20 seconds. So, as seen from s prime observer, right. Now, let me write in this area, this is for s prime. So, as, as per S prime observer, there are two clocks, this clock and this clock, I can name them. Let me name them, uh, let us say F and G and F clock is going this side uh, and this G clock is going this side. Now, I am taking S prime observer's point of view. So, these two clocks are now going in the in the left direction, in opposite direction, and S prime frame is now fixed. Okay. So, let me draw it here. Let me draw it here. The S prime observer, this uh, scenario is like that. Uh, there is a clock A, and this clock reads T prime is equal to 0 at that time this clock f is also reading t equal to 0 and this is moving in this direction with velocity v and then there is a clock at this uh, at some distance, this distance is 12 cs in this frame, this distance will be different in this frame length contraction. So, it will not be 12 cs, this other clock g is somewhere here and uh, this distance is less than this. So, it will be 9.6 cs and here is a clock and this clock is also going in the direction negative x axis. Now, since this is a rear clock, this is the rear clock and this is the front clock and the two clocks which are moving are not synchronized there is a time difference. At the same instant, these two are not showing the same time and the rear clock is ahead of the front clock. So, this is a rear clock. So, this will show more time at the same time at t prime equal to 0, this is showing t equal to 0, but at t prime equal to 0, this is not showing t equal to 0. It is showing something else and what is that something else? How much is the difference between this reading and this reading? that difference is given by L v by c square, this is the formula, this is the equation, this clock leads this clock by this much of amount, where this L is the rest separation, this is the se rest separation between the two moving clocks.
So, let us calculate what is the rest separation between these two clocks. The rest separation is, is this 12 cs. This is the rest separation. Separation between the two, two objects measured from a frame in which they are at rest. That is 12 cs. So, this is 12 cs into v with what velocity these are going? They are going with 0 0.6 c. This is the velocity divided by c square. So, this c square cancels with this c and this c and this is 7.2 second. So, at this instant I am talking from S prime observers point of view. At this instant this clock is reading t equal to 0 all right, but uh, at the same instant this is already reading 7.2 it is already reading 7.2 seconds at this time. And what happens later? This clock goes away and after some time this clock comes here. This, uh, this g clock, this g clock after some time it comes here. So, let me draw that figure. This is a later figure clock g is now here, this is clock g going this way with velocity v and that clock f is gone somewhere else. And when the two clocks are opposite each other, when these two clocks are opposite each other, this clock is reading t prime is equal to 16 second and this clock is reading, this clock is reading 20 seconds t is equal to 20 seconds. No doubt, when the two clocks are in front of each other, each can look at the other's clock and his own clock also. So, it is the same situation here, same situation here. This is reading 16 seconds and this is reading 20 seconds. When they are crossing each other, that particular instant, this person can look here, this person can look here, this person can look here, this person can look here and these records cannot be changed. So, this is 16 second and at the same instant this is 20 second, but remember it is already 7.2 seconds ahead of this. When this clock was reading 0, this uh, f clock when it was reading 0, this clock was already reading 7.2 seconds and now it is reading 20 seconds. So, how much has the clock advanced? The clock advanced, the clock g advanced by 20 minus 7.2 and that is 12.8 second. So, 16 seconds have passed since the first event when the clock f was uh, opposite this uh, this position, this origin. 16 seconds have passed, but this clock has advanced only by 28 seconds. So, this clock is running slow, 16 seconds time has elapsed, but this clock has advanced only by 12.8 seconds. So, this is running slow, S prime will proudly declare that yes it is running slow and by what factor? It is 16 into 0 0.8, 16 second into 0 0.8 is 12.8 by the same factor, by the same factor square root 1 minus v square by c square, this s clock is running slower as compared to s prime clock. And then s prime clock is anyway running slower that we have already seen that 20 seconds have passed, but the clock has advanced only by 16 seconds. So, it is uh, slow by a factor of 0 0.8 and here also it is slow by a factor of 0 0.8. So, it is both ways.